Hey guys, and welcome back to my Data Analyst Portfolio Project Series. In this edition of my series, we are going to focus on marketing analytics as the theme of our project. In today's episode, we will briefly look at what the series will be about, and then we're gonna go to the business problem that we're gonna focus on solving in this Data Analyst Portfolio Project. If you haven't set up your practice environment yet, then make sure to watch the setup video that I've linked in the description below to follow along with the series. Before we get into today's video, I just wanna give you guys a quick overview of what to expect in the series. In today's episode, we're gonna look at the marketing analytics business case, just to understand the project objectives, key metrics, and look at some other parts together. In the next episode, we go a little bit more technical. We're gonna look at extracting and cleaning marketing data using SQL. Then in the third episode, we're gonna look at enriching some marketing data using sentiment analysis, which will be done in Python. The fourth episode is all about building a marketing analytics dashboard in Power BI. So we're gonna create an interactive report and dashboards that the end users can work with. In the fifth episode, we take a look at presenting marketing analytics insights in PowerPoint. We're gonna focus on data storytelling and presentation skills in PowerPoint. And the sixth and final episode is more about showcasing your marketing analytics portfolio for a potential future job. So we're gonna discuss how to present your portfolio for job interviews and other conversations where you might wanna showcase and talk about what you have done in this data analyst portfolio project. So that is the overview. Let's get started and exploring the marketing analytics business case for our data analyst portfolio project. Okay guys, so here we have the marketing analytics business case that I wanna take you guys through. Now, before we get into all the technical stuff, I always think it's very important to understand what is the business problem that you're gonna solve and try to understand a little bit of what the stakeholders are looking for, what are some of the challenges and other things to give us a little bit of direction when we get a bit more technical. So the first slide is just a general introduction to the business problem. I'll read through and then I will highlight some stuff. And then I'm also gonna challenge you guys to, to treat this almost like an exercise, which I will come back to in a couple minutes. Shop AC, a online retail business, is facing reduced customer engagement and conversion rates despite launching several new online marketing campaigns. They are reaching out to you to help conduct a detailed analysis and identify areas for improvement in their marketing strategies. So that is just the overarching, you know, the overall problem, challenge, whatever you want to call it. Then I have outlined some key points, reduced customer engagement, the number of customer interactions and engagement with the site and marketing content has declined, decreased conversion rates, fewer site visitors are converting into paying customers, high marketing expenses, significant investments in marketing campaigns are not yielding expected returns, need for customer feedback analysis, Understanding customer opinions about products and services is crucial for improving engagement and conversions. These are just some key points that I have noted down. It's always good to try and pick up on what are the main challenges, the key points, what are the things that I need to think about. And that's what I'm trying to get you guys to do here, to try to understand a little bit of the business challenge and case and start to think about, you know, what is it that I need to pick up on? What is it that I need to think about? Now you can go to my GitHub, you know, again, check the description and download a clean version of this presentation. And what I want you guys to do is go in and then highlight some of the parts that you think are important. Um, I'm gonna go to the next slide now where I have highlighted some things that I think are important to notice. And then you can see what did you highlight, what did I, hi I highlight, just to compare and treat this like a, like a small, exercise and it's just to get you guys to start to think about the business side of things before we get technical um, so I'm going to go to the next slide now um, you know if you want to do that exercise uh, exercise pause and then continue with me um, the next slide you can see I have marked online retail business that's what this is you know this is about reduced customer engagement and conversion rates some of their challenges um, you know, they've created new online marketing campaigns. They want you to conduct a detailed analysis. Um, I've marked up some of the stuff in the key points, number of customer interactions, engagement with the site, um, content has declined, fewer site visitors are converting, marketing campaigns are not yielding expected returns, understanding customer opinions about products and services is crucial. Just some things that I wanna make sure that I just highlight, hey, these are things that I need to remember. 
So this is the overarching introduction to the business problem. Now we're gonna get a little bit more detailed. So if you go to number four, you see here we have some correspondence from Jane Doe, who is a, who is a marketing manager. So it goes, hi data, hi data analyst, I hope this email finds you well. I'm the marketing manager at Shop Easy. We've been facing some challenges with our marketing campaigns lately, and I'm reaching out to you to request your expertise in data analysis to help us identify areas for improvement. Despite our increased investment in marketing, we've observed a decline in customer engagement and conversion rates. Our mar marketing expenses have gone up, but the return on investment isn't meeting our expectations. We need a comprehensive analysis to understand the effectiveness of our current strategies and to find opportunities to optimize our efforts. We have data from various sources, including customer re reviews, social media comments, and campaign performance metrics. Your insights will be invaluable in helping us turn the situation around. Looking forward to your response. Again, I'm, I'm putting some information out there. I want you guys to take a look at it, highlight the stuff that you think is important, and then continue the video with me. So this is the stuff that I highlighted, um, facing some challenges with our marketing campaigns, help us identify areas, areas for improvement, declining customer engagement and conversion rates, marketing expenses have gone up, return on investment is meeting our expectations, effectiveness of, uh, of our current strategies. Um, and yes, uh, let me, effectiveness of our current strategies. So these are the, some things that I was like, okay, hey, I'm gonna pay attention to this. I'm gonna note, you know, note, note this down. And there's no right or wrong answer here. It's just to highlight, notice, direction. Okay, these are important things that I need to, to, to pay attention to. The next piece is another piece of information. This time it is from John Smith, Customer Experience Manager. So let me read that for you guys. Hi data, hi data analyst, I'm the Customer Experience Manager at Shop Easy, and I'm writing to seek your help with analyzing our customer feedback. Over the past few months, we've noticed a drop in customer engagement and satisfaction, which is impacting our, our overall conversion rates. We've gathered a significant amount of customer re reviews and social media comments that highlight various issues and sentiments. We believe that by thoroughly analyzing this feedback, we can gain a better understanding of our customer needs and pain points. Your expertise in data analysis will be crucial in helping us decode this feedback and provide actionable insights. We hope this will guide us in this will guide us in improving our customer experience and ultimately boost our engagement and conversion rates. Thank you for your assistant, John Smith, Customer Experience Manager. Again, another piece of information. Take a look at it, read through it, highlight some stuff, start to get that, that kind of business understanding part going. And then later in this portfolio series, we'll, we'll get more technical. But this is very, very important to have direction and understanding of what it is that you're trying to solve. You know, I can't emphasize how important this space is for you to be successful in later stages. So the stuff that I marked off is analyzing our customer feedback, drop in customer, uh, notice a drop in customer engagement and satisfaction, various uh, issues and sentiments, helping us decode this feedback and provide actionable insights. I didn't highlight that much stuff. Maybe you highlight more, maybe you highlight less. Not that important. The exercise is what it is important. So, so far we have looked at some pieces of information and just briefly discussed them, but already it's starting to give us a bit of an idea and you know, we know a little bit, okay, you know, what are we dealing with? So, so that's very good. Um, the next part is that I have outlined some key performance indicators, some KPIs. And these are just marketing relevant KPIs. There's nothing special going on here. Um, you guys can read through this. You know, we have conversion rate, customer engagement rate, average order value, customer feedback score. You don't need to memorize them, but it's just good to just, okay, hey, here are some KPIs. Um, what are they measuring? What are they doing? We're gonna use them later. You have some knowledge about those. Um, you know, if you were talking to stakeholders, you could have asked, are you guys using some existing KPIs? Uh, how are you guys doing this today? And then you might end up with a couple of KPIs that you have written down, which is what I've tried to try to do here. Um, the next part I want to show you guys is just a little bit about the data sources and tables that we will work on later. We have a customer journey table, engagement data table, customer reviews table, customers, geography, and products table. The tables in yellow 
um, they are related to you know our calculations and they will become fact tables the, uh, the, the tables in uh, here in turquoise they will be lookup tables so that's the main difference here and you can see it if you read what it says about the tables it says track customer movements to the website to analyze the conversion funnel you can do calculations on that measure engagement with different types of content calculations analyze customer feedback to identify common themes and sentiment calculations and here you have provide additional information about something so those are lookup tables those are um, calculation tables or measure tables you can also call it dimensions or fact tables we'll come back to that later when we're going to use these tables um, and the last slide in this business case is just some goals and i think it's good to set some goals for what you want to try to achieve so i want to just give you guys some examples of what some goals could be so it could be increased conversion rates uh, where the goal is to identify factors impacting the conversion rate and provide recommendations to improve it. The insight to do that is to highlight key stages, key stages where visitors drop off and suggest improvements to optimize the conversion funnel. So that's the goal and that's the insight we need to fulfill that goal. And then you have two more, enhance customer engagement, uh, you know, determine which types of content drive the highest engagement, insight, Analyze interaction levels with different types of marketing content to inform better content strategies. And the last one is improve customer feedback scores, uh, where the goal is understand common themes and customer reviews and provide actionable insights. And the insight to be able to do that goal is identify recurring positive and negative feedback to guide product and service improvements. Now, you don't have to set these goals and write them down as, as uh, you know, as I've done it, but it's good to start to pick up on, you know, what are some goals that we want to have uh, during this period, during this project, what are some of the goals that we want to achieve, which insight will support that. And that's just what I'm trying to, to show you guys how you can, uh, you know, some examples of how you can write that. Um, throughout this series, there are some things that we will be able to achieve. There are some parts we won't be able to achieve. That's just how it is. Um, and, and we'll see uh, we'll see together how this progress when we start to do more technical stuff and then there will be some option for you guys to do different things as we as we go but this should give you guys a good introduction to the marketing analytics business um, case that we're going to work on in this project in this series like I mentioned check the description in the in the under the video there you'll find a link if you want a copy of the presentation um, and, and if you, if you want to follow along, like I said before, or go back and do, you know, the exercises where you highlight to, to see where, where does your focus go when you are trying to think about, uh, a, a business case or a, a use case before you start to work on the more technical stuff. So that's it for our introduction to the marketing analytics business case. In the next video, we're going to move on to extracting and cleaning the marketing data using SQL. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on the series. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.